Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today to share with you what I have been working on, which has been so much fun. I have been making lace ruffles. Isn't this pretty? It's just so pretty. So on this one, I used this beautiful lace from Angel Dream Crafts, and it was in my last DT haul, and I used all of it, so I can't show you a piece that isn't ruffled up. Um, I used that for the base, and then on top of that, I used this beautiful vintage pink lace that I got from Kim. It's so pretty. This is all I have left. I absolutely love it. I used that on top of that, and then I used this beautiful lace that I have no more of from Kim's shop on top of that. Isn't it pretty? I love that lace. So I just ruffled it up in my sewing machine, and I used a zigzag stitch. That way I could make a really long piece and I could cut it where I wanted to without unraveling the whole thing. So you really have to use a zigzag stitch if that's what you want to do. So I created one really long piece and then I cut it up and made little appliques out of it. So, isn't that cute? It's so cute. So these are just ready to plop on projects and they're so pretty and adorable. Um, so this one, I started out with the base like this. And then I added these beautiful leaves that come off of this trim that just has leaves for days that you can cut off. So you see how much I have left. I cut off a few and um, I put them on here and then I put this beautiful uh, trim right in the middle from Kim's shop. And then I added one of these beautiful flowers from Kim's shop right here. I just love these and I have a couple left and I decided to use one on that because that is so cute and then I created this piece with the same base and all I did was add this beautiful bling that I got from Juana thank you so much um, just right in the middle and it's just I think it's so pretty it's so pretty then I made another small ruffle and I used um, this eyelet from Kim's shop on the top. The other two uh, laces are the same on the bottom. And then I just put a strip of rhinestone cup chain in pink, which you can get pink and silver at Angel Dream Crafts. And this comes off of her applique that has the dimensional flowers on it. And so I added that there, and then I added one of my favorite little um, candy sugar hearts. I really don't know what they're listed in the store as, but that's what they are to me because they look like candy. They're so cute. So I put that there. Isn't that adorable? It's like it's ready to go. I love how these turned out. They were so much fun. I'm probably going to make a zillion more, and I'm just going to probably stick them on everything because why wouldn't you? <laughs> They're so cute. So as always, you can find a link to Kim's shop below in the description box and a link to all of the designers who are currently on the team. And be sure you go and check them out because they're all amazing and they do such amazing work. And they inspire me and I know that they will inspire you. And I hope that you give these a try. With my sewing machine, I can get three layers of lace through. Once I start, if I try to go more than that, we start to have a problem. <laughs> but I can get three um, through there and um, make sure that if you're going to want to cut it into the um, lengths you want that you do use the zigzag stitch in the middle. So I hope you are all doing well. I hope during this busy holiday season you are finding time to create. And please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and be sure to give my video a thumbs up and I will see you all on the next one.